So guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Rodney Beer Paradise, and today we are talking about product photography, and we'll be shooting my own gear today. The Canyons R, the R5, the lenses that I use, and maybe some photos of the Uke. I haven't planned out anything. I'm just making this video. I have no idea how the photo is going to be. Anyway, I'll be taking through this tutorial slash photo shoot. Let's see. So I have some basic. Uh, reference photos that I want to take in my home. I don't know how this is going to go. Anyway, let's get into it. So this is the first place that we are going to shoot. We'll be shooting the camera here. Uh, so it will be here and there will be like some more props around that and, uh, and we'll be shooting from this side something maybe at a 50 mm or i'll be using the 7200 i haven't planned anything out so let me set this up and i will show you the final uh, setup and how we are going to shoot this okay So this is the final setup that I'm going for and I'm keeping the light at a 45 degree angle at 100% so that we can reduce the exposure so much so that the ambient light gets deleted and this will be the final setup and the look and as it doesn't have that much depth I'll be using a prism so I'll be using this prism to introduce some depth into the shot so this will be the final angle and when you introduce the prism and turn it a little bit you can introduce some unique looks so that's the current plan and let's get into shooting so before shooting you guys know this is the R so I will switch cameras and switch the battery to and we will keep one more memory card here and we will start shooting. So before I show you guys the final images, I wanted to uh, take you through of what I did. So I was shooting on the Canon EOS R with the 35mm and the 50mm. So if you have seen the behind the scenes, I was putting my fingers in front of the lens. You won't notice what I, uh, what's happening right now because there's no light on the fingers. So if I bring the light here and if you can see, uh, this is how I create the foreground elements for my uh, photos so that's why I love my rings it can reflect different ways when I like move it around so these are the final images We are going to shoot the R of 7200 f2.8 inside a drawer to represent this as something special. So, don't ask me why I'm doing this. Uh, in my mind, uh, I'm going for a certain look. If this works out, it's gonna be epic. So, let's get into it. 
so this is where we are going to shoot the next photo of the uh, rs7200 uh, the main problem that we are going to face is because this is a round lens well it's gonna roll around so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a gopro mount and keep the lens on top of that so we can position the lens anywhere and it won't roll off So that worked out pretty good and the only problem that I faced was the background being a little bit too bright so I just placed a black cloth there just to eliminate the light and it worked out pretty good. So you guys go, the photos. So I'll be posting a before and after an edit on my Instagram page as stories and if you go to my highlights there will be a highlight called B and A before and after so go check it out I'll be posting the before and after of this shoot also hit the like button if you like this video and the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you will be notified for future videos so till then wait for the next video bye bye